Welcome to Santos Brothers Eat, food worth mentioning. Where Chef Jeff and his brother Kenny talk about their amazing adventures eating and tasting food that is so incredible, they have got to just share it with the world. My mouth is salivating already. All right, so welcome back everyone to Santos Brothers Eats. My name is Kenny Santos. I'm with my brother Chef Jeff. How are we doing, Jeff? Oh, I'm not too bad. It's, uh, it's February. We just had a good snowfall. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a good day in Toronto, Canada. Spectacular. And so if this is your first time you know, listening to us, we, we talk about actually the whole podcast called Food Worth Mentioning. So when we have food that we love to, you know, that we really enjoy, we like to share that experience with others as a recommendation. And what are we going to talk about this week, Jeff? So we're talking about a little uh, restaurant uh, in Scarborough or restaurants in Scarborough, uh, Vietnamese, and one is called Pho Metro, and the other one is called Bunny Metro. But we believe that the same owners, even though there's two different kitchens, two different cashiers, they're sort of joined the middle. So you can walk between either restaurant. And like I said, there's, there are Vietnamese. One has pho and one, one has banh mi's. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. They're, they're basically next door to door to each other. They have a, a connected dining room. It's separate cashiers. It looks like, yeah, and just as Jeff says, separate kitchens. And actually their branding looks the same. Doesn't it, Jeff? Like the, it does. The metro part. Like the yeah, me- the metro like, part of it. The metro. So it all looks the same. And so we're, wonder- we're wondering, you know, are they the same owner or what? I happen to have eaten at the uh, Fun Metro. And then Jeff, I mean, Jeff's eaten at both sides. Right, Jeff? Yeah. yeah. But I think you're the one that mentioned it first. And then that, that's why we went originally. Yeah. Um, and then Diane and I went to the, to the Bon Me place afterwards. And we, we've been there a couple of times ever, since then. Yeah, and I know that we've talked about pho uh, before, um, but why don't we remind everyone what pho is, Jeff? Uh, so pho is a traditional Vietnamese soup. Um, it's mostly a beef broth base. There's a lot of exotic herbs in there, like star anise, um, cinnamon. It has, sort of has that sort of sweet uh, 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 taste to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and in it is usually beef, and when I say beef, there's a whole bunch of different uh, kinds of beef. There's raw beef slices, medium beef slices, uh, or rare. There's beef balls, um, uh, beef tendon, which yep. Ken and I are a very good fan of. And then something, part of the cow that we're not a big fan of, tripe. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, and pho, you know, if you look at a pho um, menu, you're going to see, because you think, oh, that's just beef. It's just kind of like a, this place that serves like this beef soup that's full of lots of noodles. But, you know, when you get on, like when you can add tendons or rare slices or well done slices or those, you know, the balls, it's almost like, like almost like ordering a pizza almost like with different toppings. And then, but it's set up where, I mean, there's, I guess there could be literally dozens of different combinations that you can yeah. Yet. and so um but usually it's like hey do you want the rare do you want the well done and it's it's uh, mm-hmm. what makes it really good is obviously it's it's the taste of that broth that broth has this unique flavor that sometimes like once you have a taste of it sometimes you'll just want to be in the mood for it especially on a day where it's kind of uh you know it's like it's a winter day like kind of like a day like today where it's so cold outside oh yeah you have a, a nice bowl of pho and then you'll remember pho if you ever eat it is because it typically it's a large bowl but then it comes with a big plate of um herbs yes yeah and, uh, and uh, usually the herbs are uh are, are um, thai basil um yeah. and then some uh, i think pandan leaves are called it looks like a a long um like green onion almost yeah i think they're called pandan leaves um so maybe mint and a, a lot of uh bean sprouts in that yeah. as well so if you get that you're gonna look like there's a whole bunch of herbs that's on a plate and i don't use a lot of them at all you know i only use you know a couple of the the leaves and that's it but yeah. i know you know I, I see some people when i go to the to a restaurant you know back when we you know could eat in a dining room people would eat all of it and i would eat for like, oh yeah yeah like not even one tenth of what of what's there do i even go for yeah so actually now i, I usually when i order fi i actually just tell them 
Oh, no bean sprouts, because I'm not a big fan of bean sprouts to begin with. So I don't want to waste that food. That's a good idea. I should start doing that. And so pho, you can get that just about everywhere. Uh, but we're talking about pho metro. And this was recommended to me by uh, by my neighbor. It's my neighbor, Darren. Because um, we eat on occasion. He's like, hey, Kenny, you want to grab some bite to eat? He says, I'm going for some pho. And, uh, you know, I have my normal place that I go to. But we went to this place called pho metro. And he had some uh, interesting order because he said he ordering beef stew and i usually don't like i never even heard that beef stew is is at like a you know a place that serves pho and yeah when i mention beef stew like some of you might be thinking oh those it's like you know it's like this thick stew like especially with potato you know there's like you know there's potato and stew this is not what mm-hmm. this is this is it's um it's it's it is a thicker broth that's a little bit spicier with a lot of different chunks and different cuts of beef in it and if i ever go to fun metro i'm usually gonna get that because nice. not m- most you know some pho places will offer a beef stew but typically it's it's uh it's not. It's just kind of like normal, regular pho. And that's just fine. But if I can get a hold of some beef stew at a Vietnamese place, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, you know, when you have pho, you know, what do you usually typically have on a chef? Uh, for me, like I mentioned before, I like to go with the rare beef slices, uh, beef tendon. The beef balls I could take or leave it, depending on on what their on the restaurant's choices are. Um, but that's what I usually go for. Those, those two main items, tendon and rare beef. I'm the same way, you know, it's all fine. Whatever number it is, you know, that says yeah. that offers the tendon and the rare beef, I'll go for it. And typically, you know, just kind of like, you know, if you go to a subway, uh, you know, the subway sandwich, if you can double the meat for like two bucks or something like that, you could actually order extra meat at like at mm. places. Cause it's yeah. always on the menu for an extra three bucks or four bucks. Oh yeah. I've never done that and, though. And neither have I. I, I found this on me, but just for people that haven't had pho before, you'll, you will find the menu, the price is very reasonable. And the oh. amount of soup you get is incredible. So if you think a large is large, it really isn't. It's more like extra large and the medium is large. So oh, yeah. The, the yeah, bowls look, are, look are around, much larger yeah. than you, than you oh, think yeah. they are. Yeah. It's incredible. Like, and if you're just trying this for the first time, if you're with someone else, you could you could reasonably share a large. Uh, yeah. Yeah, without even like, yeah, you could share a large. Most people. Yeah, we recommend that if you go there, the first time having fun, look around, see how big the bowls are and ask the wait staff, what size is that one there? And yeah. I guarantee you that's it's probably medium that you're, you're looking at. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, no matter what size I get, I usually just finish it. But you know, I've been with some friends that have ordered medium and they don't finish it because it is yeah. it's enormous. They're huge. And it's a, you know, a, you know, very, very reasonably priced. You're going to walk out of there with a very, very full belly. And I'm like, Jeff, you know, when I get pho, I love to get the rare beef and I love to get the tendon. If there's anything else in there, that'd be great. And, yeah. uh, you know, one of these days I might try using that extra meat. That'd be fun. I don't know. That would be. Yeah, that would be. I remember we were in Florida I forgot, I think for Christmas one time and uh, went with Diana and her mom and, and her and her husband and they had a Vietnamese place and they had, um, I think it was beef ribs in the pho and I'd never seen that before. And it did say how special and I had it and I was, I was very much pleased. Um, so basically it was just, just beef short ribs and I've never seen that before in pho. And I still haven't seen it here in Canada. That's so there may be idea. somewhere in, in Markham that has it, but yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I, I, I'd love to have that. So that's Pho Metro, you know, and we're, they're in, uh, they're like, they're in Scarborough. They're a warden in Scarborough. and Lawrence. Right? Yeah. Actually, Ken, I'm, I'm just looking on Google Maps and I think they're a chain because when I go to Pho Metro, they're showing places in Vaughan. They're showing places um on uh, Rutherford Road, that's that's Vaughn, but oh. other places as, as well. So, and I'm looking at their logos, and they look the same logo. So, I think this is more of a chain. Oh yeah, we should check to see if there, if there's uh, um, Bunmi Metro's right beside it. Yeah. Uh, Actually, the, there, there, isn't. there isn't. When you put Bunmi Metro, there's only one, and that's oh. the one that's next to the Fun Metro in Scarborough. That's kind of interesting. So, yeah, Bunmi Metro is just kind of like the beginning and seeing how that goes. Um, and you know, you know, if I guess it's, if it's more uh, successful, they may you know open up more and perhaps next to their fun metro locations. 
you know yeah so there's a there's a, a bunch of different locations you know we're going to leave their uh their website in the show notes it's just basically fummetro.com and some of people you know it fa spells p h o uh, it's yes. like fa like kind of like fa la 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 like fa like that yeah um a lot of people mispronounce and say fo it's not how it's said it's pronounced fa. yeah yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 and we know because uh, I have a comedy troupe and we had a Vietnamese uh, comedian, uh, Franco, and he's actually on tall boys now, a little plug for them. Yeah. And we were talking about getting faux and we were saying faux all the time. He looks like us. Uh, do you mean pho? And we're like, is that how you say it? Was, yes. Like, okay. He's Vietnamese. He should know. That's kind of funny, yeah. You know, a whole group of Asian <laughs> guys and girls saying, "Yeah, let's go yeah. get some pho. And the one guy that really knows how to say it says, "Guys, I know you guys are Asian too, but it's it's actually pho, you know, not pho." Yeah, so like, good to know. And yeah, so, it yeah, is. Yeah. So again, it's called pho, and um, spe- you know, I I I I'd give them a, a good rating. It's it's a place I want to go. If they were closer to where I live, I'd get them more often, you know. But um, I do like them. But they're right beside um, Bun Mi Metro. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people, they don't know what a banh mi is. So why don't you tell them what it is, Jeff? So basically, banh mi is a Vietnamese sandwich. And mm-hmm. the funny part of it, it's on actually a French baguette. And I'm on Wikipedia here. And um, the baguette was introduced in Vietnam in the mid-19th century. Um, and it became a staple food for Vietnamese in the 20th century. And, of course, Vietnamese, because in Vietnam, they have different ingredients and different ways of cooking. They they made their own sandwich called a banh mi. And, but they use a, a, a French style baguette. And in there is um, mostly it's, it's pork sausage or, or meats that are sort of pickled and, um, and such. Coriander, cucumber, pickled carrots and pickled daikon, which is um, a pickled, is like a, a, a radish. Mm. And then uh, sometimes you might see pate, which also was, in, was introduced to them or influenced by the, by the French cuisine oh wow so yeah so it's a it's a i don't know i dare say it's like a vietnamese definitely a vietnamese sandwich i don't know if i call it a yeah. vietnamese kind of like hero sandwich but it is served on that you know french baguette so mm-hmm. and man they're pretty tasty sandwiches i you know i they are if you haven't had a bun me and you have a chance to if you're hungry you want to try something it's something that's pretty safe because in, at the end it's just a sandwich you know it's a it has some uh, obviously some unique flavor profiles, but if you feel an adventurous, you want to try a bun me, whether it's from a food truck or a place, you know, that, that makes bun me's, I'd say go for it. And so did you have anything in particular when you went to this, uh, to, uh, my, I was going to say fun Metro, but it's bun me Metro. Uh, for, for bun me is I, I, I'm, I like, um, more on the pork side, like, yeah. like grilled pork or, um, um, something like that. But yeah, I think what makes a banh mi a banh mi is the pickled cucumbers and daikon in it. Like that's something that you don't really find on other sandwiches, you know? Yeah. And, and the pickle it's um, if I remember correctly, it's, it's, it's like a sweet and sour uh, brine. Is it not Jeff? It's not totally. Sour. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's more of a sweet, sweeter brine. Uh, so it's a sweeter pickle, which I kind of like on a sandwich. It really contrasts with the meats or whatever you're having in it pretty well. Um, mm-hmm. Very tasty. When I, when I go, I, you know, I, it almost doesn't matter, you know, what I eat. I, typically either beef or pork that I, I'm going to want um, just because I, I feel like if they offer, it's rare that would, they would offer chicken, but if they did, I feel like it would get overpowered by the pickles. That's just how I feel yeah. about things. Yeah. Actually, they offer a lemongrass chicken. Okay. And I think the the way the chicken is cooked in that is sort of it, it is is very uh, complementary to the pickled vegetables. Mm. So that, you know, if if you want to try chicken, go for that. I'd probably still go for something like pork or or uh, yeah. unless someone just you know if 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 someone just went down and just said, hey, this is the number one sandwich. You got to try it this way. Then I'd probably I'd probably at least try it. So yeah, oh for sure. Yeah. yeah. So Bun Me Metro. Uh, again, they're the right beside Fum Metro, but only at the Warden and Lawrence location in Scarborough. Correct. That's right. Yeah. And they actually, even though they're Vietnamese, they actually serve baos as well, which, which are more Chinese than Vietnamese. But uh, in a bao, I think we explained this before, bao bun is basically a, a steamed white bun that sort of looks like a Pac-Man 
you know, basically uh, it's, it's smaller than a banh mi, more compact. Um, but because they both have the baguette and the bao bun, they basically use the same ingredients oh. for eat, for both sandwiches. So nice. make it easy for themselves, you know. Absolutely. And, and what's cool about this is that if if we're ever in a situation um, where you can't decide what you want to have, or if one person wants pho and the other person wants a bun me, and you happen to be near this place, Warden Lawrence, you can go to the same restaurant and your both of your palates will get satisfied, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. And so, you know, you had a chance that, that to listen to us. We talked a little bit about pho. You know, there's a second time, at least the second time that we're visiting and talking about fun. First time we're talking about bun me. And so mm-hmm. if you want a, a chance to try uh, either one, we I uh, suggest either fun Metro or, or um, bun me Metro again at the corner of Warden and Lawrence. And we'll make sure to have both of their information up onto the show notes. And so that's this uh, episode's food worth mentioning. And we're looking forward to the next time where we talk about more food worth mentioning. Right, Jeff? That is right. And then until next time, Earn this quote from Julia Child. People who love to eat are always the best people. And of course, uh, that um, includes my brother, Chef Jeff Santos. And I'm his brother, Kenny Santos. And you as well, if you love to eat, food worth mentioning. Thanks a lot, everybody. All right. Take care. You've been listening to The Santos Brothers Eat. Food worth mentioning. I might have that next time I go there. Like, it's so good. It's so (laughs) good.